Hey everybody, it's Gamer Number 98 here and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Last time we started World 1 and now in this part we're going to continue through World 1, but for now I'm going to show you where the... <sighs> where the secret exit is on World 1 3. It's after the checkpoint flag, so I, I'll see you there. And you will need Yoshi for this, I believe. So let's do this. Here's the checkpoint. Okay, keep. let's keep Yoshi. It's just a little further away. Okay, here we go. This, here. You need to get up here with Yoshi, and you'll be off screen, but you'll find yourself collecting a bunch of coins. And you'll find yourself entering a warp pipe that you can't see. And here's the secret exit. Secret exits are always marked by a red flag. So you know. Now you know, and no one's half the battle. Woohoo! This way! Bye Yoshi. See, he just waves bye bye. So that opens up the cannon. This cannon will take us straight to World 5, so we skip half of the whole game. But I'm not going to do that. So, here's the first castle. Well, actually, it's a, it's a tower, a fortress. The castle's at the end of the world. Call this like the midway point of the game, of each world. You'll fight one of the Kooplins in one of them, so in this case it's Larry Cooper. I like your hair, by the way, Larry. You'll always be my favourite Koopalin just because of your hair. So, these levels tend to be the most threatening. Because, well, they're very dastardly. I mean, what more can I say? Dry bones! Dry bones never die. Unless you do this. Dry bones can only be killed by two measures. One is to freeze them with I an ice arrow. Ice arrow? This is not Zelda. <laughs> freeze them with an ice ball and then just destroy the uh, block of ice. Or you can just be uh, invincible f for a start and just cr just crash right into them. Oh, which way do I go? Oh, can I see up there please? Okay, there's nothing up there. Is there... Don't die now. No wait, there is something down there. Damn it. If you want to get all those star coins, you have to beat the level, otherwise you don't actually keep the star coins you collect. If I die now, I'll be at the checkpoint, so that's useless. Okay, okay. Time this right. Oh, okay, a one-up. I'll take it. This game is very generous with the one-ups, but for a reason. Because this game does get pretty difficult later on. <laughs> Oh, no, I need to get the star coin. Come on, down here. Come on, don't be afraid. There we go. Yeah, I missed one. Oh, I missed one. Ooh, I'm hurt. Alright. Grab the coins. We've got a time limit. Alright, fire flower. We actually haven't had a fire flower power up yet, have we? Well, everyone knows what it does. Let's shoot these fireballs, even in the water, which is totally logical. Oh. Come on. Oh, no. Okay, 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 whatever. Try again. Ugh. <laughs> the memories of Poke Park 2 are flooding to me just by saying that one phrase. Yay, an unnecessary fire flower. Whatever, let's go. Into the door, because we're going to fight the mag- the, the- What's his name? Larry Cooper, he's a Cooperlin. These fights tend to be pretty easy, you just stomp on them three times, and every time you do, they're going to do this thing, so you just jump on- jump over them, and pulverize them when they come out. And yes, they're invincible when they're doing this, so just avoid them. Oh! That was convenient. Yes, you are. You are number one, Mario. And off he goes. Guess where he's headed. He's headed, he's headed to the castle. 
Yay for originality! You actually have to battle the Koopalins twice throughout the whole game. Alright, next level is activated. But, oh, okay, I'll save. You can save your game after you clear a, a tower or a castle. Simple as that. I'm going back in there, I'm getting that star coin I missed. Oh, no, wait, stop! Oh, I was going past it. Oh. I wanna die! Oh, there's only one way I can die on this. <laughs> I wanna die, mummy. Ugh, come on, die. die. Okay. Kill me! Hey guys, first death of the LP! Ow! Alright, try this again. Don't go left, go up here. Just wall jump up here, and there's your star coin. Simple as that. But now I have to finish the level, otherwise I don't get to keep it. But I can just do. I can just make it seem effortless with the power of editing. All done. Oh, I get to save again! Yay! All right, let's move on to World One Four. I believe this is the first water level of the game. Is it? Here it is! Might not seem like it first because we are... Okay, the ice flower would be much more helpful in this scenario. Here we go. So, when underwater, you have to be careful because jumping on enemies does not work here. And the ice flower! Oh, hey, yay! This isn't like the first Super Mario, the first new Super Mario Brothers game on the DS where you can keep an item in reserve. Nope. Let me. No, no, because that's why the game was so broken in the first place. Because, you know, in this game they took out the Mega Mushroom, and I'm actually kind of glad because, when you come to think about it, that was only game breaking that item. Am I gonna get through here? It's a cheap, cheap cluster F. See, I'm close to death. See, up there I did pick up a hidden red ring. Stupid cheap cheeps. Die! So, who would have thought? Ice is super effective against water. Alright, urchins. When you hit an urchin with an ice ball, sometimes they'll burst into coins, and other times, well, if there's no ceiling above them, then when they break out they'll actually be unable to float again and they'll sink and any and if they block and they'll block up any warp pipes that are that are gushing. And I was hit. Oh Okay these clam things they have items inside them. Just don't be just don't let them close up on you otherwise you can take damage. Alright, block it up, you stupid urchin. There's an. Oh, okay, I need a lift. There we go. Alright, to get this one, we need to f freeze that urchin and let it just. let it just sink onto that warp pipe so we can get through. Can I go down here? Yes, I can. So what's down here then? Alright. We have some one-ups in the clams, but that's kind of dangerous. Oh, a star. I'm gonna keep the ice flower. I don't want the fire flower. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe it. Oh yeah. Don't avoid me! You give me one-ups! That's good. Freeze you, freeze you, freeze you. Freeze you. Rippy Fanny Fish! They don't die when they're frozen. Help me! Rip Fan Fish, they're annoying. They chase you. What? Oh, missed. Okay, let's carry on. What's next? 
Alright, this is the introduction of enemy courses. If you hit an enemy on the map, you'll be forced into a battle where you have to collect eight eight items. Well, it's best if you see it for yourself. So we touched we hit the Goomba. So we're gonna get thrown into the enemy course. These are both a hindrance, but they're also helpful. You just need to collect the eight toad spheres without dying. All the enemies disappear when you do so. Open the treasure chest and inside there's a toad. He'll give you three mushrooms, which you can use any time on the map. And Mario just bops his head up and down. Be careful because these enemies do respawn after a set time. Alright, let's play some power up panels. I have to admit, I have never got I've never got perfect on power up panels. Well, I don't I haven't played this game a huge amount. There are actually several set patterns. And if you're playing in multiplayer, when it comes to power panels, you'll be taking turns flipping the panels around. Huh. Okay, Fire Flower. And that's all there was. Meh. I know! Shut up! Right, moving on to World 1-5. World 1-5. It's not Slash, good god. Oh, the awesome athletic theme! No Mario game would be complete without an athletic theme. Especially a super catchy one. Oh, oh hey, what's up here? Oh, no Mario. No, Mario! Oh. Okay, just. <sighs> Boing. Up. Uh, this is gonna take a while. Yo. Oh, yeah. Oh, alright, a vine. We all uncovered a vine that'll take us to somewhere. Up. Uh, Oh, okay. I knew they. I knew they tried something like that. See, they block us up with invisible coin blocks. Just jump on it, Mario. You've been platforming for over 25 years. Ah. Ah. Everyone knows this by now, but the enemies dance when the bar happens in the music. Alright, this thing. What, you stand on what looks like a bolt and just spin on it. And there you go. It's a lift. Watch the Koopa Power Trooper now. Yay, he dances. But you know what? I'm surprised, actually. Is this really my dozenth LP? Time flies, doesn't it? I remember when I, I remember when I only just started. Ah, the memories. Speaking of which, you know, a dozen LPs is quite a lot in just two years. And I can't help but notice that when someone subscribes to an LP, they never watch their older LPs. And I'm clearly, I'm clearly an example. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm a t I'm attention whoring, but anybody who subscribes to me more recently, could you do me a favor? Go back and watch some of my past LPs because, because I'm, it's it's something I'm proud of. I was looking back at my Wind Waker LP, and oh my word, the amount of views it has. It has so few views, I don't get it. I mean, that was one of my best achievements, if you ask me. And... We can't go any further, so let's just drill. A ground pound gets turned into a drill-like move when you're in propeller suit. Going jogging! Alright, what's next up? 
Alright. We could go straight to the castle, but there's still one more level in this world. Um, how much time is left? Okay, I'll do one more level. So, let's -a go. And also, if you spin whenever there are flowers in the background, like here, if you spin next to them, you, they give you one coin. You gotta be kidding me, one coin! Oh, that's what that sound was. That Goopa Troopers collecting coins for me. Okay, let's go for the fire flower. Ow! Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to jump on a Koopa. Nope, jump on a Power Trooper, that's better. Oh, yes. Take me somewhere. Take me to your leader. Take me to... Okay. I'm gonna get... Okay, aim for star. One up! Yay! Like I needed that. I'll take it, I'll spend nothing. Oh! Trying to mind game me, her game! Get down! Yeah, that thing on the left ain't suspicious at all! What have we got? Alright, watch out Goombas drop down on ya! Ah. Oh! I'm not- I didn't get hit! I feel so lucky. Next! Oh! Yay! Oh, frick! Okay, good. Oh, P-switch. Okay, if you hit a P-switch... P P switches turn all coins into brick 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 blocks, and vice versa. And makes blue and sometimes makes blue coins appear. If you collect all the blue coins, you hear a, you hear a little clapping. Kind of pointless, but nice touch. And did I really die by Goomba? I have to collect that star coin again now. Please do not drop on me, Goomba. Whoa! That was, that was a close one. Nearly out of one up now. Whoa! This is getting dangerous. Okay. If we ground pound question blocks, then whatever comes out of them actually comes out the bottom. Oh, what? Okay, P-Switch again. We am stuck in place. Okay, here's the goal. Coming up. One up. Okay, so that's it for now. I'll end things off here. So next time on New Super Mario Brothers Wii, we're gonna finish off the whole of World 1. So, until next time, see you later.